Today, a legislative committee discussed a bill that would restrict the media and the general public's access to statements made by police and other public employees. Now, typically, these statements are given during investigations of misconduct. Fox 13 News anchor Amy Ney has more. Garrity rights protect public employees from being compelled to incriminate themselves during investigatory interviews conducted by their employers. House Bill 399 sponsor Representative Ryan Wilcox of Ogden says keeping that information private, protected from public scrutiny or possible prosecution, is something that's protected under the U.S. Constitution and the Fifth Amendment. How likely is an employee to open up to you about a difficult issue, perhaps one in which they made a significant mistake, if after the interview, the content of that crucial conversation is going to be used to sell newspapers. This bill will increase public distrust of officers if passed because it shrouds the internal investigation under a veil of secrecy. Cheryl Worsley, journalist of more than two decades now with KSL and representing the RTDNA, Radio Television Digital News Association throughout the Rocky Mountain region, says law enforcement across the country and here in Utah are seeing a lack of trust from the public. The answer to a lack of trust is more transparency, not less. The public will not accept what can't be verified. There is an accountability need. Bill will have minimal impact on transparency around those subject events because information is available through a variety of other means. Cameron Deal from the Utah League of Cities and Towns says this bill wouldn't restrict media from gaining access to police reports and other investigations. He told me he never wanted his children and he never wanted his spouse to hear the fear that his job involved. He already has it at the dinner table. He doesn't need it at the front page of the newspaper. He doesn't need his neighbors going to church and asking him, wow, that was really amazing. Did you really, how did that feel? Representatives of law enforcement and members of the media in attendance this morning speaking for and against the bill respectively. They were not given um, all of the facts in the case. And our case is the reason why this bill should not move forward. Also testifying, Tiffany James, the mother of Zane James, a 19-year-old shot and killed by Cottonwood Heights police in 2018, whose case was just reopened, according to the Tribune, by the Salt Lake DA. It took almost three years and $300,000 for us to be able to gain access to the security statement. Please, there is no public benefit to less transparency. The bill passed unanimously by the committee. Amy Ney, Fox 13 News, Utah.